you'll see they shut uh, my side door there and then my window is just completely busted open. That's how Nia Brooks found her car Sunday morning, but it wasn't her only surprise. She says a body was on the ground next to her parking spot. So I just turned, froze, and just went in my house and just started crying. A morning of distress brought on by a night of chaos at the Saratoga Ridge apartment complex in Phoenix where Nia lives. Police say a call came in on Saturday about a man in his late 70s trying to get inside an apartment to grab his belongings. After no one answered the door, police say the man said he would leave. However, just before 8.30 p.m., police tell us a woman called to report a man with a gun was trying to break a window at the same complex. When police showed up, they found the suspect in the parking lot near Brooks' home. And I just heard, drop the gun, drop the gun, and then gunshots. Um, and then I just saw, like, the helicopter lights and fire trucks. Police say officers shot pepper balls at the man before he allegedly fired his gun in the air. That's when officers shot and killed him. You never really expect to hear gunshots right outside your apartment door. Neighbors now left with questions. I do kind of wish there's more information on it, like whether they were a resident here or something like that, just so I had more information. But those details, along with the man's name, have not been released. For now, Naya is hoping the trauma will soon be gone. Honestly, I still feel a little bit like numb in my body, like knowing I'll have to drive home every day, remember that that body was like by my, my car, my parking spot. Police say no officers or people who live in the apartment complex were hurt. I'm told the name of the man will be released once family is notified. Now, this marks the 22nd shooting involving an officer in Maricopa County this year so far. Reporting in Phoenix, Casey Torres, Arizona's family. Thank you, Casey.